welcome. So I often show you guys how I'm like organizing my vanity area and I did used to film here a lot. So I figured today what I would do is just get ready with you guys here and kind of um, then you'll get a feel for how my organization works for me when I'm actually getting ready. Let's start with moisture. As you'll know if you watched my last video, I have been having weirdly dry skin even though I am naturally fairly oily. So I'm just taking some of this Derma E Skin Restore Moisturizer. It says it's Advanced Peptides and Collagen Moisturizer. Don't know what that means. Feels nice on my skin. For my lips, I'm taking my Milk Kush Lip Glaze. I did already moisturize my body, I'm not about to show you that, but I could uh, could do with a little moisture in my hair. I like to use this whether I'm wearing my hair wavy or straight. It's just a really nice kind of hair serum. Silicone free, gluten free, vegan. Their whole line is really nice. And I do just use like a tiny blob. Just makes my hair feel really soft and hydrated, I guess. Without being weighed down or heavy because I do have fine hair. It doesn't, I don't think it has a scent either. Obviously check up on that stuff if you're super sensitive. So I am just pulling this down so that I don't get any makeup on it. For foundation, I've been using the CoverFX PowerPlay uh, foundation in N30. And I'm just applying it to the middle of my face. Areas that I want to maybe have a bit more coverage. And then I kind of blend out from there. My sponge is already damp, but I'm gonna mist it with my fourth ray glisten up mist. Because I'm not about to dive back into dry skin again. So ordinarily you would be able to get a much more full coverage out of this foundation. But because I put it over such a moisturized base and I'm really buffing it out, you can also get a really nice kind of lighter coverage. Taking a little bit of the Milani Conceal and Perfect. What shall I do next? Brows. So I'm going to start with the Milk Kush Fiber Brow Gel in Dub. And then I'm using the Lime Crime Brow Pen just to fill in any gaps. Gonna warm things up a little bit with my milk bronzer. I feel like I'm getting the sniffles and I'm not about it. Taking ColourPop under pressure for my blush. Lately I've been doing my highlight and my blush at the same time just to save a few seconds. Um, and I think this one is called Lit. This is from Milk again. I'm gonna set under my eyes with a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury powder. But first I'm gonna take out any creasing. Then I'm going into my Makeup Geek palette. These are some of the new shades. And lately I've been using a lot of Beach Please. Just, that's all I need on my eye. Actually, I told a lie. <laughs> I'm gonna take So Pale on the brow bone. 
just kind of like neatens everything up because it's such a potent pale shade. But then I take Beach Please. I swear to go out there as a woodpecker outside. Can't you go hibernate? If any of you ever are building a home or buying a home in the wilderness, don't get one with like a natural looking like reclaimed timber on the outside because it makes animals want to live inside with you. I would recommend like corrugated steel. <laughs> this morning was a wolf pooping on the ice and now there is a woodpecker pecking on my house. <laughs> I'm gonna dip into a little bit of that setting powder. Just put that here so that my mascara won't transfer. I'm taking the Milk Makeup Waterproof Kush Mascara. I think for the lower lashes, I'm gonna use some brown mascara from ColourPop. Now, if you have clockwork orange lower lashes like I do, I like to take a spoolie and kind of comb through them a bit to take some of that length down. Because although I want the definition on the bottom, I do want my lashes to be kind of top heavy, so. That's just something I do. This also just kind of makes your lashes look a little bit more natural if you want it to look like you're not wearing mascara. You can do it on the top lashes too. I think the lip product that I want is in my bag, so BRB. So this is Always Right from ColourPop. It's one of their just tint pencils. If you wanted to, in a pinch too, you could use this as a bit of blush. Gonna give you a glowy, juicy cheek. And then I think all I wanna do is add a little inner corner highlight. Uh, so I'm gonna be taking one of the Aether highlights. This is in the color um, Pure Diamond Dust, I guess. Just gonna put that in here. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly dry my hair, probably put some clothes on, and we'll be just about done with this video. So this is my finished quick morning get ready thing. Quick and easy makeup that I know is gonna wear well throughout the day and then just kind of like a rough dry of my hair and curling some <laughs> key pieces. So everything I mentioned will be linked and listed in the description box down below. Helps me out if you use those links. Um, it also helps me out if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you like bringing you mental health, beauty, lifestyle stuff. Everything is vegan and cruelty free. And uh, all of my social media will be on the end screen if you want to find me elsewhere. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.